Hey, how's it going everybody? If you're thinking about putting in a whole home water filter and you may be confused with all the different choices out there, fear not because I am here to help. I installed this Culligan water filter about three months ago and I just want to take a few minutes to share my experiences with it. Real quick before I get into it, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really love to engage with you guys, and I really appreciate all the support. When I first moved into this home, I noticed iron staining on everything that had come in contact with water. The toilet bowls, sinks, tubs, all of it had iron streaks. And worse than that, it was terrible to drink. There was so much iron, it tasted like a nasty, rotten egg. Like If you wrung out a dirty dish rag with a slight aftertaste of old, crusty mop head, I honestly don't know how the people that I bought this place from survived. I don't. Anyway, the filter is a Culligan model WH-HD200C. I scored it on Amazon on sale for just under 60 bucks. It's currently $78.99, which is still not bad in my opinion. Just track the price for a while. Link in the description to that. It has a one inch inlet and outlet, and it has a three position knob on top which is just on, off, or bypass, and a pressure relief valve button on the top. And it also has a battery indicator light button thing that flashes when it's time to change filters. I believe it's set to three months and you can't change it. It just is what it is. Overall, it's very simple and there's not much to it. My first impressions when I unboxed this was that it is very large. I mean, I knew it took big filters, but I mean, look at it. 16 inches tall, eight inches wide, and about six inches wide at the filter. So yeah, dang, it's a big one. If you're gonna choose this, make sure you got enough room for it. But that's why I went with this one. Not only does it have a larger inlet and outlet than the three quarter inch house pipes, but there's a lot of real estate in here to fill up with gunk. And to me, that means little to no drop in water pressure, no matter what filter I use. And I don't know if this is actually true, but in my mind, a smaller filter wouldn't last as long. You'd think it would clog up faster, especially with all this iron particulate that I have in my water. And the most important reason that I went with this one is the cartridge that it takes. These are a common size. They're nothing special. They're readily available just about everywhere, albeit cheaper online. And there is a vast number of choices in both capability and price. So if you watch any of my other reviews, you'll know that one of the big things I look for is versatility in just about everything I buy, and this definitely ticks the box in that department. Performance depends entirely on which filter cartridge you use. I started off with one of these guys. This is a basic 50 micron filter, and it did okay, but I wouldn't buy this one again. As you can see, it did its job taking out the chunks of crap in the water, but that taste was still there, and after only two weeks with this, which is rated at 35,000 gallons, it was completely gross, and it started growing something inside of it, and I don't even know what that is, nor do I want to. So don't waste your money with one of these. I kind of kept this around as a backup. That's about it. So I switched to a better quality water filter. This is an Aquacrest. 25 micron filter. I got this in a two pack from Amazon, link down below. This one has the inner and outer element with a carbon layer in between. This did the trick. The water is crystal clear and it tastes much, much better. There's no more of that dirt aftertaste, although I can still tell the difference between tap water and bottled water. But more importantly, from a preventative maintenance standpoint, all of that iron staining that was going on in the bathrooms has completely stopped. And that's especially good news for my appliances since all that garbage was going into the laundry, the dishwasher, the fridge, and it would have eventually damaged something. Here's how I installed the filter. It's pretty much the most convenient place to put it in the space that I have. And I just made a simple wood support and used the bracket that it came with. And I went the pipe soldering route. And before you say anything, I know this job may look ugly if you're a pro watching this, but hey, it doesn't leak and that's all I was after. I didn't dare pick up a camera while I was doing it either because I would have to bleep out every other word. You could also use shark bites with this if you wanted to. It's much easier than sweat and copper, but those things aren't cheap. And I already had a lot of this stuff on hand. If you're not comfortable with doing this job, just call a professional to install it for you. I want to address a couple of review complaints that I read on Amazon. One complaint is that it's messy when changing the filter. It's only as messy as you make it. I mean, put a bucket underneath it, crisis averted. It's not that big a deal. The biggest review complaint by far that I've found on Amazon is that the top knob is difficult to turn. Yeah, it's, it's pretty tight, but it's not impossible. Conveniently enough, the wrench that came with it is shaped the same as the top knob. So if you needed a little bit of extra leverage, you could use this to turn that top knob. I think Culligan knew that this was going to be difficult, so they made that on purpose. I had to laugh at one reviewer who complained that they kept getting drenched every time and that the knob is extremely difficult to turn, especially under pressure. <laughs> Dude, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're not supposed to turn it under pressure. 
<laughs> Here's what you do. You shut the water off to the house. Then you go inside and open up one of your faucets to relieve the pressure. And then the knob gets easier. You gotta work smart, not hard. Pressure relieved. What do you know? <laughs> Look at this doozy. They have water shooting 30 feet across their garage when they try to change the filter. <laughs> Let me tell you, if this is happening when you change the filter, you are doing something very wrong. I mean, come on. Use your head just a little bit. That's not a filter problem. That's you being stupid. Shut the water off. Crying out loud. All right, time to put the new filter in. The inside of it will have a lot of rust and stuff stuck to the inside. I just took a rag with some iron out and scrubbed the inside of it just to make it look pretty for the camera. You don't have to do that. What I do recommend though is this ring comes off. A, make sure you don't lose this. And B, make sure you wipe out the seat right here where the ring sits. I actually took a little tiny bit of that silicone paste that I use all the time and put it on there just to keep that ring nice and fresh. Oh, look at how much junk that thing caught just turning it on. And if you want to, you can hold this down and reset it. It'll blink a few times, and then it's reset. Honestly, this is more decoration than anything else to me. It's just as easy to write it on a calendar or put a reminder in your phone. Now, one reviewer that I read actually took this out and put it in their kitchen so they could see it without actually having to go and look at the filter, which is a pretty good idea. It's kind of like a remote. On to my list of pros and cons. Number one is the size. It could be a pro or a con. And while this thing has great flow and great filter longevity, you may not have space for it. Remember, it's not just the size, but you also have to leave some room around it and below it to change the filters. So that may be a concern for some people. It's not complicated to install at all. It's easy to use and it's inexpensive to maintain. You have a very versatile cartridge choice on the market and it's very budget friendly at about 60 to $80. Add $20 if you need to go and buy supplies if you do it yourself. The one inch inlet and outlets could be another pro or con there's lots of people complaining about that online and i don't know why it bothers so many people it's not a big deal i guess some people just have a huge issue with spending an extra two dollars on a couple of fittings overall i found nothing about this unit that i can list as an absolute con for me Yep, I like it that much. Its capabilities were what I wanted, the price was right, and as it turns out, it works like a charm. What more could I ask? I'm really glad I took a chance on it, and I highly suggest that you check it out. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this Culligan Whole Home Water Filter. If you have any questions, please shoot me a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. To all my new subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.